Welcome to week five of this Belly Dancing for Flexibility course with me, Lindsay Marie Silver, here at Little Egypt Studio in Scotland. In this session, let's enjoy moving together in this most soothing of ways. We're gonna flow with and flow through, float through the cloud. And also we're gonna sink deep down to the ground with guided relaxation. Let's enjoy. Coming into center. Let's start off with a very gentle stance. Standing in a way that feels natural to you, where you can really soften out through the muscles of your feet, your low legs, soften through your knees and your upper legs. With your hips resting in neutral, soften through your hips and your glutes. Long muscles of back, lengthen and ease. Through your waist, relaxes, belly and chest up through to your shoulders, down through your arms, your wrists, your hands and your fingers. Relax through your shoulders and your neck. Relax through your head. Relax through your face. Relax through your jaw. Perhaps we could imagine floating through the clouds. Soaring. to bring movement to our chest, our whole rib cage. Bring your gaze towards the sky, or towards the sun. And bring your hands down, sweep them in front of you, bring them up towards the sun. Take them out wide, bend through your knees. You could gently fold each individual vertebrae unwinding and gently unfolding as you cross your hands in front of you and bring them out and out towards the sun. Sink down. And back up. your head under this time, chin to chest, and gently unwinding head. It's the last thing to come upwards. Back up into center. We can flow through the clouds, bring that fluidity through your shoulder joint, down to your arms, wrists, hands, fingers. Let's take that soaring motion down into the hips. Perhaps this time imagining you're flowing with the river, flowing with the ocean. Beautiful. <laughs> Enjoy taking a nice, deep, good quality breath now. Breathing inwards. And as you breathe out, raindrops, sun rays, 
raining down on you. It's abundance of energy and joy, vitality, replenishing, cleansing and nourishing. And those little droplets of water bounce and dance off the ground, off your shoulders. Bring one hand to heart space, one to womb space. Slide your hip out to the side. <laughs> ah, we're going to take our hands wide, bring them all the way out to the side, lower them down. Take the hands up and wide, all the way around. Bend to your knees as you do that, bend. So you're sinking down into that position. Bend to your knees, sink down. Here we're gonna go into real deep figure of eight hip movement, all the way out and round. Bend, bring the hip all the way up and round and out, slide down, up and round. And you can echo that movement with the arms. That's beautiful, really slow that down, make it nice and smooth. Beautiful, that is gorgeous, Paulette. Isla. Lovely. All right, in center here, we're gonna roll a camel movement all the way up through our body, bring our hands up to the sky. And the hands naturally flow with that energy. You're gonna bend down, tilt your pelvis, roll that reverse camel all the way upwards. Let's try that again. Bend, tilt through the pelvis, roll that movement up all the way through. Let's try a few more of those if that feels good for you. You can make this movement as big or as small as you like. This is really good for spinal well-being. It's also very good for the muscles of pelvic floor, your abs. Beautiful, coming into center. We're gonna circle our wrists around. All the way down to the side, circling up in front. to just sigh, release. As your hands come down by your side, we're going to Raise our shoulders up to our ears and then release them down. Lift up, shoulders to ears. And as you breathe out, lift all the way up. Notice any tension you've been holding on to. Here's your opportunity. Oh, release that out. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> wow. Here we're going to come into deep circle of the hip. Bring the hips back. Bring it out to the side and bring it forwards. This time you have the option 
as your hip comes out to the side, bring your body the other direction. As your hip comes back, you can bring your chest down closer to the ground, head closer to the ground. Bend out through your knees as you bring up to the side. You're gonna come back through center. Let's try that to the other direction. You're gonna bring your hip out one side, rib cage comes to the other direction. As the hip comes back, your rib cage comes forwards and down towards the ground. Bring your head into there as well. You can bend through your knees. Bring it out to the other side and back into center. <sighs> Let's try two more of those. So you're gonna bring your hip out towards the side. Rib cage comes to the other side. Then you're gonna bring the hips back and the chest comes forwards like this. Relax through your head. Bring it out to the other side. This is really releasing for your mid to low back. Bring it back into center. Let's try one more time, other side. Bring all the way out and come round. Back into center, wow. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Let's take the feet a little bit wider apart. You can bring your toes facing directly forwards in alignment with the short edge of the mat. Or if you would like to, you can bring your heels ever so slightly further away. Okay, from here, raising your hands up, really lengthen through your spine, tailbone to the ground, crown of the head to the sky. Deep breath. As you breathe out, we're gonna pivot out of our hips to come forwards. Come forwards. You're gonna lengthen through the back of your legs here if that's accessible to you. Place your hands down to the ground. We're gonna release out through the hamstrings. Feels so good. We're just gonna hang out here for a moment. Now, I'll let you choose. You can either stay here stationary. If the floor is available to you, you can place your hands down. If you'd like to, you can gently bend through one knee slightly and it's gonna bring you on an ever so slight lunge. It's gonna open up the inside of your thigh for a deeper stretch and at the same time, gently strengthening through your leg on the other side. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you're just gonna return that very softly back into center so that the movement is equal, it's even, it's back where you started. <sighs> on your next breath, if you want to, you can gently bring a slight bend to the other knee. And you're coming into a gentle side lunge to the other side. And just relax your neck. Just chill out here for a moment. Feel that deep release through the inner thigh. Deep breath here. As you breathe out, gently return back into center. And here, you can just ever so slightly shift your weight into the ball of one foot and bring the heel in towards you. And then the same on the other side. So this time we're bringing the toes further away and the heels are closer in. Keeping the knees in alignment with the toes. Here, option to bring your hips down towards the ground and gently raise up through your head. So you're coming down into this frog-like squat position. This one is so recalibrating. It's so wonderful for your whole being. This is whole being wellness. In its center, bring the spine into alignment. Bring the whole spine into alignment. And if you feel able to, you could start to bring your feet closer together. If you'd like more of a soothing recalibration of your digestive system, you could bring those feet closer in. And this action of having your thighs close in towards your belly and your chest, it's very soothing for your internal organs. So there's no real tension throughout your spine. If this feels too intense of a position for you, feel free to place your hips towards the ground. Maybe you can use a rolled up blanket or a cushion underneath your hips and gently come to rest on your hips. Otherwise, we're just gonna rest here for a moment longer. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. 
to breathe out. Now we can join our friends who might already be sitting. Let's come to a seated position high up on hip bones. Let's bring our feet out in front of us. Let the soles of the feet have a kiss and a cuddle. <laughs> Nice length and spine. Feel how straight your spine is now. Doesn't that feel good? And so, one of my favorite hip openers, inner thigh releases. You can just gently guide your knees closer to the ground. Let's first of all begin to bring some gentle loving care to our feet. Perhaps you can use your fingers in a circular motion, perhaps your thumbs, working your thumbs around in a circular motion on the soles of your feet. Maybe start with your toes, big toes, next set of toes, next ones again, smaller as we go, all the way around to your little piggy toes. And then the, the soles of the feet onto the balls of the feet. Your arches. On your arches, you might want to use long stroking motions. Apply as much pressure as feels good for you in the arches. And then perhaps all around the heels, the outsides of the heels. Ah, oh, that feels good, doesn't it? And take your hands towards your toes on the outside, the top of your feet. You can use this gorgeous stroking touch on the outside of your feet up through the outer edge of low leg, across your knees. Take that up to outer thigh, towards your hip, that loving self-care. Bring your hands towards your hips now, just gently circling on your outer hips. And then bringing your hands up towards the small of your back, just in at your kidneys, so the back of your hips there. Deep breath in, expand the belly, expand the chest, crown of the head to the sky, tailbone to the ground. Oh. And then gently bringing your hands back down towards the inside of your foot. You could use your elbows to gently apply some pressure on the inside of your leg, gently guiding your knees closer to the ground. And as you do that, imagine bringing your rib cage up and over the top of your feet as you gently pivot out of your hips with a straight back. And allowing your muscles of hips and inner thigh to release and relax and lengthen. Gently release that there. I'm going to bring one foot up towards the sky, one knee up towards the sky. Bring the toes in towards you here. I'm going to take that wider. And then on the other side, lift up, push forwards, bring the toes in towards you. And we're going to take that wider. Here, we're going to bring our hands just in behind us. We're going to do is engage through our glutes here one side and then release other side engage through glutes squeeze and release do faster squeeze release squeeze release squeeze release squeeze release we're going to take one foot bring the knee up towards the sky you're going to bring it over the top of this other leg Bring it out here. From here, you can use the elbow, the just above the elbow, to bring the knee across to that side. So you should feel this nice opening stretch all the way through the outer thigh. And towards 
the glute. Let's release that out. Take that across to the other side. And then place your hands down. We're gonna squeeze through glutes maybe a little bit faster this time. And four, three, two, one. This time we're gonna lift this knee, bring this foot across. You're gonna take it over the other side of this knee. You're gonna come around with this hand on the same side as the extended leg. And then you're gonna bring the elbow to bring that closer in towards you. Really releasing out through the back of the thigh and at the glute, the side of the thigh. Well done, deep breath in. And as we breathe out, we're gonna gently release that, bring that foot back across. I want you just to place that foot on the short edge of your yoga mat there, or if you're down towards the ground. And we're just gonna bring this in behind us, gonna open up that deep, hip movement, that psoas release. Here you're gonna lift your hips up and really slide that foot back. So you're feeling this releasing through the front of your hip, all the way down through your thigh. If you feel to and you feel able to, you can lift through this back foot, show your heel up towards the sky. Both hips are neutral, neither one is leading. They're both level, parallel with the ground. You might also feel this releasing through the outer thigh and the glute on the other side. A little more than we did a moment ago. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, we can very gently, gradually return that foot to the ground. You tuck your toes if you feel to. And then if you're tucking your toes, you can straighten through that back leg. This is gonna deepen that stretch all the more. So you should be really enjoying a deep stretch through the front of that hip. And in your own time, as you breathe out, return the knee, untuck the toes, bring the hips back towards the ground. Let's take it across towards the other side here. You're gonna make that gentle V shape, slide that leg out. And then on the other side, and then lift up through the hips. And releasing through the other side. Perhaps you can feel the tension begin to ease. Breathing into that relaxation, feel the muscles soften. If you feel to, you can raise through that back leg and show the heel to the sky. So you're gonna feel this more through your thigh here. And of course, if you wanted to, you could come down into that lower position to ease through your upper back. But if you feel to, you can remain up high. Sometimes, that can be beneficial for providing a bit of leverage towards your hip. Let's release the foot back down to the ground. Tuck your toes under if you'd like this deeper stretch. We're gonna extend through the back leg. Extend. Really feel that deeply open up through the hip. Maintaining that alignment through the hip parallel with the ground. Remember to breathe. And so we're also releasing through psoas here, muscle of the soul. So this stretch in itself is actually a very, very effective antidepressant. It can raise and boost your mood with feel good hormones flushing through your system. Who wouldn't like to feel happier, more joyous? There's always space for more, right? Take a deep breath in. Ah, as you breathe out, gently return the foot, the knee, untuck the toes. Gently bring your hips round towards the mat. Wow. Let's just for a moment pause back in that position we were in. I want you just to notice 
if that feels any different this time. Perhaps you feel more able to sit in alignment through your spine without engaging through your thighs or your hips. Perhaps you feel that you have more mobility in that position. Or it just feels softer and more relaxed. Wow, well done. Let's begin to really descend now towards the ground. Let's come towards one side of the mat. If you feel to, you could place a cushion for your head. Take your footing wide about shoulder width. You can roll down with me if you like, or just join us down on your back. If lying on your back is not for you, you can come onto your side. And here. Oh, take a nice deep breath, perhaps a yawn and a stretch. Ah, welcome yourself home to yourself within your body. Bring your shoulder blades down. And here we're going to raise up through one foot. Place it on top of your knee. We're going to rotate around a circular motion through the ankle. Reverse that, go the other direction. And place that one down. And we're gonna enjoy that on the other side. And this simple movement is really wonderful for the ankle joints themselves. It's also wonderful for your feet and your toes. It's very restorative for your whole being wonderful for your calves known as your second heart so it's good for boosting your circulation as well let's take that around the other direction you have some wonderful stress relief and just relax that and place that foot back down onto the mat ah, you're gonna bring your knees together here and take your feet wide perhaps to the outer edge of your mat or just beyond it. And we're just going to rest here for a moment with the knees in together and the feet wide. And this position is wonderful for your hips. Again, a very restorative position. Just take your time to breathe. Belly comes up to the sky, chest expands. And breathing out, chest returns and belly returns all the way back down. Deep breath in, belly expands, chest expands. through one knee and through the other. Bring your feet close together. And we're going to reverse that as we bring the soles of the feet together. Take your knees nice and wide. And just allow your knees to tumble gently to the ground with gravity. Enjoying your breath. Deep breath in. And this time as you breathe out, you can 
gently bring one knee up towards the sky and then the other. Slide one foot out in front and bring the toes in towards you. And release that. Other side, slide your leg out in front and bring the toes towards you. And release that. Walk your fingers down towards your toes and we can rotate the palms up towards the sky as you take your arms slightly further away from your body. And as you rest here, an invitation if you would like to take on an extra layer for comfort and warmth. As you begin to slow down your breathing, slowing down and softening through your muscles. Notice as your breath deepens and each of your muscles softens. down into your own relaxation now. Allow the simplicity of this moment to restore you as you feel a wave of warmth and relaxation travel upwards from your feet. up through your low legs and into your knees through your upper legs into your hips up through your back waist belly and chest your shoulders, all the way down through your arms, through your wrists and your hands, your fingers and your fingertips. of your arms, the front of your shoulders, tops of your shoulders, all the way up through your neck, relaxing. Relax your head. muscles of your face, relax your eyes, nose, mouth and throat, your tongue, relax your ears and your jaw. each of your organs, relax your brain, and as you feel your body sink down deeper, heavy with relaxation, in balance you also feel as though you could be gently floating through the clouds.
that is. And allow your body, your mind, and your spirit to be softened like fluffy clouds. gently begin to open them. As if wakening up for the first time into a beautiful garden of possibility, noticing colors more vibrant and flow with nature. hands up over your head one and then the other perhaps take on a big yawn and a stretch and from here if you were lying on your back you can bring one foot upwards towards your hips to raise your knee to the sky and on the same side your arm out to your side cross it over the top of your body use your foot to push off and roll yourself onto your side take a moment here as we join our friends already perhaps on the side time you can begin to use your hand to gently push off and return you back to a seated position only this time <laughs> a slightly different version of you feeling restored and replenished at home within your own sacred sanctuary your own body balance with the ground and also the air. Thank you so much for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure to share this session with you. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to the next one. <sighs> for those of you who are joining us on our YouTube channel, this upload, Thank you for being here. If you didn't subscribe to the channel already and you've enjoyed the session, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can be informed of when the next video is available for you. Click like and feel free to leave a comment. Let us know what you've enjoyed about this session and what you're looking forward to in your well-being journey next. Patreon people joining me here live right now. I'll speak to you in just one small moment. <laughs>